Morgan Fairchild is one of the most recognizable actresses of the 1970s, starring in shows like the CBS daytime soap opera Search for Tomorrow and The Amazing Spider-Man. She was named one of the 10 most beautiful women in the world by 1982's edition of the Harper's Bazaar. Fairchild seems to have it all, fame, looks, and a star-studded dating history. But there's actually more to her than meets the eye. Morgan Fairchild actually has a dark past, which she refers to as near-death experiences. If you want to know more about Morgan's life and these life-threatening experiences, make sure to stick around for the whole video. Facts First presents Morgan Fairchild Reveals Her Dark Past. If you're a fan of the beautiful Morgan Fairchild, show us by clicking the like button. And be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Hollywood is the biggest symbol of success and wealth. Anyone who steps into this world is assumed to have everything. It sums up the entire American dream, and reaching this point means you've managed to achieve great success. However, the lives behind Hollywood stars might not be as perfect as they seem. There are many celebrities who have struggled at great lengths. Some famous celebrities such as Robert Downey Jr., Oprah Winfrey, Hilary Swank, Walt Disney, and many others had a dark past. Behind the facade of success and wealth was a darker story of struggle. Morgan Fairchild, the starlet of Bonnie and Clyde, is a perfect example of someone who faced struggles during their career in Hollywood. Morgan Fairchild started her acting career in the late 70s. She started off in the CBS daytime soap opera, Search for Tomorrow. And it's from there that her career began to take off. Throughout fame, Morgan has always been very open about her life. She takes no shame in the life she once had. Instead, she's one of those who wear her scars with immense pride. Her strength and boldness about her past have been an inspiration to many. Usually, celebrities hide their past experiences as they only want their audience to see the good side of their lives. However, Morgan Fairchild is different. In fact, she believes it was her life experiences that initially inspired her to become an actor and pulled her towards a career in the entertainment industry. The actor has said to have experienced many life-changing events, including some as terrifying as near-death events. Surprisingly, she regards the experiences as important to her now because they have influenced her career. As we all know, her legendary career has spanned decades, and she's become one of the most beloved actresses of all time. But she believes this is only possible because of her life experiences, both good and bad. Morgan revealed she was a very introverted kid who liked to live on her own as a child. Someone who knew her then might find it difficult to believe that she became an actor who's pretty open about everything that happened in her life. Before her rise to fame, Fairchild lived in Texas and never really lived in New York. Her mother was a high school English teacher. Unlike many other actors, she did not have an acting background and did not know anybody involved in the Hollywood scene. Still, from a young age, Fairchild knew her future resided in acting. As a teenager, she auditioned three times to be in The Little Group, which was a show's dance group. Fairchild's first acting job was as a double for Faye Dunaway in the film Bonnie and Clyde in 1967. In particular, she played in scenes where Bonnie is supposed to be driving a car because Dunaway could not drive a stick shift. After this experience, she adopted the stage name of Morgan Fairchild. Until then, she had been known by her birth name, Patsy Ann McClenney. She selected this name from the David Warner film Morgan, a suitable case for treatment. Fairchild then moved this to New York City, show. where she secured her first credited on-screen role as the maniacal Jennifer Pace in the daytime soap opera Search for Tomorrow. She played this role from 1973 until 1977. From the mid-1970s, she also began to make various appearances on primetime television series such as Kojak, Happy Days, Police Woman, The Bob Newhart Show, and a few episodes of CBS Radio Mystery Theater. After the cancellation of Flamingo Road, Fairchild continued to make guest appearances in a variety of episodic television series such as Hotel, Simon & Simon, Magnum P.I., and The Love Boat. She also starred in the theatrical film The Seduction in 1982. In 1984, along with Joan Collins, she hosted the ABC TV special Blondes vs. Brunettes, a one-hour variety show that gently poked fun at popular culture's blonde vs. brunette rivalry. The American actress was everywhere during these formative years of pop culture. She became known for playing smart glamour queens, a trope that was hot on primetime TV in the 1980s. The characters she played were drop-dead gorgeous, but certainly didn't fall into the category of a brainless beauty. Really, few ever did it better than Fairchild. But she recognizes that playing these roles did affect the public's perception of her. Fairchild was so pigeonholed into the conniving, manipulative role that she once made a point in an interview of declaring, I'm not a predatory bitch, I'm a puppy dog. But it was easier for writers to profile Fairchild as a sexy, ill-tempered character because it fed into the common tropes of television. Without question, she was one of the great sex symbols of her generation, defining the role of a blonde bombshell. Morgan Fairchild has been described as a delicate, porcelain-faced beauty with a well-toned body. 
She had been a victim of public scrutiny and criticism for a long time because of her reputation as a diva. But despite this, Fairchild has always shown herself to be a strong and composed person who doesn't take whatever the media says personally. She's always managed to sideline the negative press, which is difficult to do as they've grown increasingly present in pop culture. Among the most difficult obstacles in her career have been the kidnappings that she's been a victim of. In fact, she was kidnapped on two different occasions. She refers to these events as near-death experiences. Both of these kidnappings took place during the peak of her career. However, the veteran actress has always been very open about it. She has discussed her experiences openly in interviews, without any fear or hesitation. This is perhaps one of the many reasons why many of us love her. She's original and genuine about who she is and everything she does. In an interview in 2014, no, Fairchild married. opened up I about her first kidnapping. Texas, this took place when she arrived in New York City to visit her sister in, in the 1970s. The, the actor revealed further that the kidnapper was a pimp and a right drug now. pusher. I, kind of I was young, I was naive, I was stuff. fresh from Texas visiting my sister in 1970 in New York City, the actress said animatedly. She went on to explain that it all happened when she was walking in the streets, fascinated and excited to enjoy the experiences of city life. She definitely stood out as she was a country girl, and this was her first time in the city. While she was walking, the actor remembers a man suddenly appeared and started talking to her. She kept walking, but then another man came up to her. At this moment, she realized what was going to happen. The two men picked her up from the elbows and yeah, shoved her into the cab. After this, they put a gun to her head. Cab. I was absolutely terrified. I had no idea how I could get away from these guys. I saw my life flash in front of my face. My God, my life as I had known it was over, revealed Fairchild in an interview in 2014. After getting over this experience, some years later, Fairchild found herself to be in the same situation. This experience is not publicized as much, as many people are unaware of it. The starlet revealed that the second kidnapping took place when she was on the verge of stardom and was shooting for Flamingo Road. During this time, a man entered her hotel room. He wanted money, but was unable to find any in the room. He started threatening Morgan, quickly deciding to kidnap her instead. He took her from the hotel, but eventually let her go. Perhaps being so open while discussing the kidnappings has helped the award-winning star come to accept them and use them to fuel her career. When asked how she prepares for a role, Fairchild said, acting is a very interesting experience. You can always pull parts of it from yourself, and the other parts of it you try to build from the point of view of the character that you're playing. In addition to her work as an actress, Fairchild has long maintained a strong role within the Screen Actors Guild. Currently, Fairchild is a three-year board member of the Guild and has served on several diverse committees. After a long, successful, and tumultuous career in Hollywood, she remains one of the greats and continues to define the art of acting. Now we'd like to hear from you. Do you think Morgan Fairchild's kidnappings affected Young, her career? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Facts First for more videos. New York City. The west side of New York City 40 years ago was not at all like it is right now.